everyone, this is Tracy with AccuCut, and I am just over the moon to tell you about these new um, globe ornaments that we are introducing. Um, there are five different sizes, and I'm showing them to you right here. Um, this being the smallest, um, it is on a large die board, and so that is actually called a small. And then this one right here is called the large. Um, this one right here is called the little jumbo. Let me see if I can show them all to you. So right here, you can kind of see it in my hand. Kind of well, a little bit of an oversized ornament like for a Christmas tree. Here's the next size. Next size, I said a little jumbo is what we call that. And then here is the next size, which is the actual jumbo size. This is, I, you can see I have a ribbon on it because I think it would be great for hanging um, in the corner of, of a room. And then this one is the giant. And I don't even think I can get this all on the screen. It's so big. It does require um, a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And all of these, all of these are going to require 20 of the circles because they are a circle with a triangle creased in, in the center. All of them will require 20 of the, sh of the circle shapes to create. Um, so, um, I wish I could show you this, but at the very end of the video, you're going to see each one of these in a, um, a little um, photograph or a video still. I wanted to show you a few extra ones that I've made. I, this is really cool. Um, I also am going to, at the bottom of this video, or at the bottom of the video, you also will see some different triangle um, dies that we have that will fit perfectly in here. I actually just cut this um, and made a template at, for my photos and then um, cut around them um, when I first made this. And it worked fine, but if you want to use some of our actual die cuts to speed up the process and make perfect triangles, um, look below um, and I'll put those die numbers. So that's awesome. And then I have a few of these too that, um, as I said, they make perfect, um, perfect size little ornaments for Christmas time. So I had made three of them that you would hang on the tree. So let me just quick show you how to put this together. Okay, so first I have cut out 20. Um, I'm gonna actually do the um, jumbo uh, circle, which is this shape that I showed you that has all the photos on it, which is this size. Um, so the first thing you do is I actually go and um, I bend all of my I bend all of my creases on all of my shapes first. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back. So I have folded all these. So I'm going to start. I recommend using a fast drying glue. Um, I just happen to have a glue gun with me because I'm going to do use it in the next video. Um, but uh, I use I've used Fabri-Tac. Um, um, a, a tape runner is fine as long as you have a really good um, sticky adhesive one because you want um, these uh, globe ornaments to really stay together. Um, so I'm just going to quick, just for demo purposes, I'm going to use a hot glue gun. Um, so I'm just going to quick put some on here. And I, just to get them really even at first, I like to put them together just like that. I put them down on the, on the table and kind of um, slide them together. These are going to be put together in fives. So we're always working in fives. Okay, so I have my first five put together. So now I can start going off of this one. And as I said, this is the way I like to, to put them together. But if you have a different um, approach, great. Okay, so you can kind of see what it looks like right now. I've done the five. Um, I've done my little five one, and then I've done the, I've attached one to every single one. 
Now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna attach one in between every single one of those because that's going to give me my five. See right now I have four, so I wanna complete my fifth one. So I have one, two, three, four, and the fifth one inside. So I did another five. So I've got two fives now. So I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how um, I've completed it. So I'm gonna go around and complete each, each side of five. Okay, so I'm at the very end. I have only five left. So you can make your decision whether to just make a row, a, um, a star of five, like I did at the very beginning, and glue them on all at the same time, or just go around and glue one at a time. So you can make that decision. My favorite thing to do is make a star of five and then glue it all on at the same time. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did my star, so now I'm gonna glue it onto the very top. This is probably a lot easier when I have my Fabri-Tac than it is with um, hot glue. <laughs> but as I said, I happen to have my hot glue gun here, so we're just gonna do that. And the very last one. And there you go. It's really super easy. Um, and once you make your first one, you'll be like, oh my gosh, I need to make another one, or I need all five. So we do have a set that includes all five of these, and um, you save a little money doing it that way too. So that's how easy it is to set that, um, to make those. So anyway, thanks for watching, and um, uh, I think you're just gonna love these. Mm -hmm.